Hello, my name is Matt Argo, and this is a tutorial for a method of playing the ukulele uh, known by some as constant bass. And for playing this, you pretty much have to have a low G linear tuning on the uke. Uh, otherwise, you know, it's not really bass because you need that bass, those bass uh, notes on the upper strings, on the G string. Basically what it is, is it's a way to accompany yourself. Play the bass, basically play a bass part, bass line part, and at the same time play a melody or a solo or chords um, on the other strings, the bottom strings with your other fingers. So you're using your thumb on the G string and your other fingers, the rest of your fingers, on the other strings. It's really most commonly used on the guitar playing like acoustic blues because you're just a solo musician just uh, playing by yourself playing a blues solo or uh, licks or whatever and adding in that bass line to add another element to the arrangement. And so it might be something kind of like this. So as you can see, there's really a big isolation between your fingers and your thumb. They're playing two different things. And that's kind of the hardest, uh, the big hurdle to get over is, is developing that coordination for your fingers and your thumb to act independently from each other. Because it's really easy, you know, you're going to want to play the same thing, the same rhythm uh, with your thumb and your fingers. And so it's really just practicing to separate those. You might start with something kind of like uh, this, which is just, uh, all I'm doing is playing the open G string, uh, playing that kind of shuffle rhythm with my thumb. And then on each beat, at the beginning of each beat, I'm playing uh, the E string with my index finger, and I'm just holding down the first fret. So. just practice that over and over again. I mean, that's what it's going to take. That's really all that it takes to just develop that coordination between your, uh, of your fingers. And then from there, you might move on to something a little more complex, like playing a little melody, a little, a little lick, a little riff, maybe like this. Which all I'm doing there is sliding into the seventh fret on the E string from the sixth fret, and then going to fifth fret on the A string and then the 7th fret on the A string. And then from there, you just add in that bass line. And that's obviously a little more complex, but, you know, again, once you move on from that, you can just play that little riff and just just start really slow and just practice over and over and over again and eventually you'll develop that coordination. And then from there, you know, you can move on to more complex things, which really just depends on your ability, you know, uh, your experience playing blues solos, uh, playing licks, your knowledge of licks and things like that. For this tutorial, I mainly want to focus on playing the entire chord. and. And in this case, you'd be playing the bass line with the G string still, and then using the rest of your fingers to play the rest of the chord uh, on the other strings. So, you know, something like that. And when I play chords, when I use this style, I don't uh, play that shuffle rhythm on the on the uh, bass string anymore. I just play the quarter notes. Just play even quarter notes with your thumb on the bass string, on the G string, and then you use your other fingers to pluck the chord. And so, you know, um, you want to assign each finger to a string. So, you know, put your index finger on the C string, your middle finger on the E string, and your ring finger on the A string, and you just keep them there and use them to pluck those strings. And so, you know, a little exercise you can do is this. And what 
I'm doing is I'm just holding down G7, standard G7 chord, and for, uh, first of all, just plucking all four strings together, and then doing that twice. And then, on the next beat, I play the G string once with my thumb, but I play eighth notes, I play the rest of the chord, the rest of the strings twice with my fingers. So. So, so far. And then I play the G string by itself. And then I play the rest of the strings by themselves. So. And the whole thing. And so as you can see, it's just kind of a cool way to kind of fill in and add some more to your arrangement if you're playing uh, solo, playing by yourself. And it doesn't necessarily have to be blues music uh, or anything. You just want to experiment and play different rhythms with your, with your fingers, but always keep that constant rhythm in the bass. Whether you're playing the shuffle rhythm or just quarter notes, you know, that kind of create that bass line that is separate from just playing the chord. And so, again, it's like having a bass player and a, an ukulele player. I use this style on my rendition of Lazy Bones, which if you haven't uh, seen that video, you can click right there to get to it. And I, uh, if you want to watch the tutorial to learn that song, you can click right below it uh, to get to that. And I'll put links for both of those videos down in the description below as well. Um, but yeah, that's a song. That's an example of a song that I use this style in. I also, when I play Sweet Pea by Amos Lee, um, which Soon I will come out with a tutorial for that. When I play that solo, I I use that style. And so, um, just to leave you with an example of a song played this way, I'm going to play uh, one a verse, and then the bridge, and then the verse of Lazy Bones, uh, just instrumental. I'll play through it somewhat slowly, uh, just to give you give you something to look at, maybe something to practice, you know, if you do want to play Lazy Bones in that style, um, or just to help you learn how to incorporate it into your own songs. So anyway, here it is. Thanks for watching.